Hello everyone, welcome back to Roblox Penny. In today's brand new video, we'll be talking about why everyone is talking about John Doe. So stay tuned. Before the video starts, I'd like to say that we're doing a 1000 Roblox giveaway in every single video. And to enter, all you guys need to do is simply subscribe and comment down your Roblox username. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the video. John Doe and Jane Doe are official test accounts created by Roblox CEOs David Bazuki and Eric Castell on June 25th, 2005. The name John Doe refers to an, an anonymous male, and likewise, Jane Doe refers to an, an anonymous female. John Doe user's ID is 2, while Jane Doe's user ID is 3. They are infamous for being mentioned in many different fake hacker stories throughout Roblox's history. And they are mentioned in many different clickbait videos, but they might be true. The first thing is all Roblox players are spreading rumors of these accounts being hackers, or the fact that these accounts got hacked. So by not having logged in into Roblox's 2006, John Doe and Jane Doe have posed user badges that were created in 2012 and accepted friend requests from users joined in 2008. This is a hint that the accounts are hacked or being hacked. That is why everyone is literally talking about this. CloneTripper1019 created a video addressing how John Doe create, received badges from his places because of, of a bug in the Roblox client that allows users to receive badges while playing a game. Though another rumor was saying that Hacker gave them badges, which is quite confusing if you really think about it. If you don't know that these hackers exist on Roblox, one example of a hacker is JO3Y234, otherwise known as Joey234, was one of the first hackers on Roblox. The account was first presented around August 2018. He was seen hacking an old game called Welcome to the Town of Robloxia. The game was deleted, and Joey234's account was published on YouTube together with his username and password. However, the password is now unavailable. When he tried to type in his username, it's scary to think about. It's trying to do the best to get rid of all of these hackers. Anyways, going back to John Doe. The second reason is because of a YouTuber named Bad Graphics. Also created a video explaining why John Doe was able to follow him. Like with the replayer badges, a bug in the Roblox web client allowed players to become friends with another players without telling them mutually agreeing to the friendship. However, the bug hasn't patched. But this bug keeps being brought up in the Roblox community, even after rumors have been debunked. The final reason why people are talking about this is because they don't trust Roblox. In around February 2017, several Robloxians such as Kazok, Equilix, and more started a rumor saying that John Doe and Jane Doe would hack Roblox on March 18th. And this rumor was frequently mentioned in some clickbait videos which caused a massive panic all over the game and site itself. It turned out to be a false later. Roblox had to explain the accounts in a blog post and update their appearance and clean the friends list. Roblox has always been a company where they try to remove problems instead of fixing them, like the text currency, which made people not believe in Roblox and all the clickbait videos were still found unbelievable. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Anyways, I really do hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.